Hello, my name is Nicholas Rivas. I talk about politics and stuff, and today we're going to be talking about how Froggy Fresh was kicked out of the goddamn creator clash. So, Froggy Fresh, Tyler Cassidy, really good rapper, the baddest of them all. I've been following him for years. He was on Daniel Tosh, he was killing it with his music, and on his more serious music, he was still entertaining. Like, he's just an all around, like, talented piano person, pianist, pianist? <laughs> Don't strike me, YouTube. I don't want to get struck for saying pianist, pianist. Um, Froggy Fresh was supposed to be part of the Crater Clash, held by iDubs. Now, I know there's a lot of sentiment on more, like, right-leaning people. I'm noticing a lot, like, a lot of the edgier, younger crowds, um, the Sam Hyde fans, like, don't like iDubs. And I think there's a lot of complaints. I think he's gotten better with his understanding of social and um i think like politics you know the, the way his fans were so grotesque with the you know the n-word and all that he's grown from it right like we all do and even though i think sam hyde is genuinely funny and i love a million dollar show like i i look at him with cringe because i'm like this guy is probably like a big trumper and that's just not where politically i align but i enjoy his content i enjoy him as a person and i think we politically would disagree and i think idubs is slift shifted to like a more left-leaning person but his fan base has quickly turned on him and a lot of the sam hyde people uh hate him because he he's done some kind of bitch moves against sam hyde understandably you know sam hyde's a big dude and he comes to my show and he'll kind of fuck with me i'm calling security um so yeah it's not like the most cool shit ever and then people for some reason start attacking his girlfriend also a content creator nisa for being an OnlyFans person, and that's where I'm like, okay, y'all are losing me. Like, yeah, iDubs can be a little bitch, and yeah, iDubs can be a little cringe, but he's all around just a great content creator. He's a great um, YouTube personality. He's a really good boxer. Like, I'm really appreciating him as time goes on, and I loved him when he was doing Content Cop. But this this sentiment against him is like he's been this cuck, and I think he's just kind of learned from his mistakes. And I'm glad he's not saying the N word anymore because that shit's just cringe. Like, it's just not funny to me anymore. And I think a lot of his fans are growing up and maybe losing in touch with his, his stuff. And I think he is as well as losing touch, you know, with his fam, his fans. Like, they obviously did not want to grow with him. And he said he was ashamed of them. So obviously there's just this sentiment of, like, anger. It, it, it's hard to fully pin down. But in this boxing creator clash, it's a really successful event. It really rivals the Jake Pauls and KSI's events. And it actually is fun. With those Jake Paul events, I think I've watched a few of them, never bought them. Um, wink, wink, just kidding. But I, I've um, seen clips and I've seen people like Salt Poppy win. The, you know, I forget if he was KSI or if he was with the Jake Paul or Logan Paul boxing. And they're okay. They've lost a lot of their like appeal. But with the creator clash, I was kind of back into it. I'm like, okay, I want to see these creators fight. And it was successful. And I really enjoyed it. With two coming out, I'm like, oh, this one even looks better. You know, the lineup is great. One of them being Froggy Fresh. Froggy Fresh is this YouTuber who I just said, who I love and care for. And he was banned. He was kicked off the event. So for one, I'm hearing that he still had his charity like like money going into it so like i don't know how fully it works but if the man put up some money or if his money's now gone for that that uh donation charity that he was working towards that's kind of fucked up like you can't you can't back that out and i don't think there's an official like we are not working with froggy fresh because x y and z i think they just said we're kicking him out because it's not a safe environment it's not a friendly environment no i get why they did it froggy fresh has been seen working out with sam hyde a guy who's been uh very against <laughs> idubs um and so look i i don't want to go into the full story of their drama i just know that they're both having a back and forth and i know they're both pretty volatile with each other and i think froggy fresh is genuinely just a guy who wants to reach out to people and maybe even cause a little bit of ruckus but i think he genuinely just wanted to box with sam hyde because he's a pretty decent boxer um i don't think it's fair i think the way they approach it was stupid i think it sounds like oh you're training with a guy i don't like fuck you bye that's not how this should go. Now, if Sam Hyde is at the event and you need to kick him out because he's trying to get a loophole to work with Froggy Fresh, that's understandable. But the guy was just training. He did nothing. Now, if they know something more on the side that we don't find, but it just looks petty. It looks like one of these I-dubs L's where he just kind of looks like a cuck. 
And I think there's very valid reasons to shit on iDubs, and this is one of them. Even though I really like him, I really defend him, a lot of what iDubs is doing right now is just bitch behavior. And it sucks, because I truly like what iDubs is doing. I think he has great moments, and I think, again, I'm hoping there's something that came out that, like, Frog Refresh was like, I'm not going unless you let Slime, slime hide in. Which is like a, hey, we can't work with that. But they haven't given us anything, and Frog Refresh seems to be in the dark, the way he's portraying it. So, again, it's just the approach was shitty, it's making me sad, and I'm kind of losing my excitement for a creator clash um i'm not gonna boycott it but i don't think i'm gonna buy it anymore so i mean that's where you leave us so it is what it is we'll see how it goes i'm in support of froggy fresh i love the guy and yeah it is what it is mm -hmm.